Hi everyone, Dr. Albert here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be talking about a common condition that I see in practice and what you can do to help prevent it, and that is a condition known as gout. Now, gout is a form of arthritis that occurs when there's so much uric acid buildup in the body. And so what happens is that this uric acid builds up and it crystallizes and it attacks the joints, particularly the MTP, which is known as the metatarsophalangeal joint, also known as the big toe. Now, symptoms of gout include severe redness, inflammation, pain of the big toe, and it also can occur at other joints as well. And uh, patients are immediately placed on uh, three medications, and the first one is colchicine, also known as Colchris. It's 0.6 milligrams twice a day, and it, it could be given with or without food. It doesn't really matter. Patients are also given a steroid medication such as prednisone or methylprednisolone, which is also known as Medrol. And patients are also uh, given a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory such as um, endomethacin or naproxen. Now, uh, once this acute flare-up of the gout has subsided, patients are switched to a preventative therapy known as allopurinol, and this is dosed at 50 to 100 milligrams daily. Now, your doctor can check your uric acid levels through a simple blood work that they can order for you, and the normal range is 2 to 7.2 milligrams per deciliter, and so based off of where your uric acid level is, your doctor can dose your medication accordingly. Now, there are medications that can uh, increase uric acid levels in the body that you should be aware of and definitely want to talk to your doctor. And these medications include high doses of aspirin, niacin, which is medication used to um, lower cholesterol. There's also um, uh, thiazides and uh, loop diuretics such as hydrochlorothiazide, furosemide. Uh, there's also uh, cyclosporin, which is a medication used to help with psoriasis, and also tacrolimus, which is a medication used in organ plant rejection. Now, this uric acid, believe it or not, is the end product of purine metabolism that occurs in the body. And these purines are actually from the foods that we consume. Uh, purine-rich foods include organ meats, such as um, it could be heart, it could be liver, uh, meat. It could also come from beef and lamb. It also comes from turkey and bacon. Also, believe it or not, alcohol contains purines. So you definitely want to make sure that you limit these purine-rich foods. And I'll go ahead and put the list down um, below this video so you're aware of these purine-rich foods that you definitely want to make sure that you limit in your diet and lifestyle. Now, um, there, are medic uh, there are foods that you can incorporate into your diet and lifestyle that can prevent these gout attacks from happening. And these are um, foods and vegetables, um, particularly fruits that have high vitamin C um, uh, levels um, such as oranges, grapefruits, um, believe it or not, tart cherry is packed with lots of vitamin C that you definitely want to incorporate into your diet and lifestyle. And also sweet cherries are also rich in vitamin C. There's also spinach, cauliflower, kale uh, that you definitely want to incorporate into your diet and lifestyle. So go ahead and try to incorporate these foods into your diet and lifestyle. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section below. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.